The first run for the red is coming up Saturday morning and with 5K and 10K walks and runs. Andrew Antonio is here with details along with Liz Wallace of the Red Cross. Guys, thanks so much for coming in on this Memorial Day. Thanks. Absolutely. Well, let's first of all start off by talking about the Red Cross. Liz, I, I know this is your area of expertise. Let's tell us a little bit about what the Red Cross does in our community, in, in Tippecanoe County in particular. The Red Cross does a number of things for the community. Uh, we are congressionally mandated to provide disaster relief and emergency military communication. We also provide rehabilitation for our emergency responders as well as train the community in CPR and lifeguarding. And that translates into what when it comes to different things in the community? Um, how, how would people see the Red Cross out and around? Well, we're typically responding to, in terms of disasters, is small family house fires is our um, uh, the number one disaster we respond to. Or uh, like a couple weeks ago when the bomb squad was out of the apartment, for those for that afternoon we were out there providing rehabilitation for the emergency responders so those are the most typical areas you're going to see the Red Cross outside of our CPR classes which we uh, provide uh, quite a few times a month and we all know there's a tough economy right now what kind of need are you guys seeing especially in this this tough economy is there is there quite a need this year more than others yeah last year really hit us hard in terms of disasters nationally as well as locally and we are congressionally mandated to provide services but get no government funding mm. so as a non profit we're always in need of monetary donations as well as volunteer time well and one way one way to raise that money of course is, is what we're going to talk about Andrew uh, the, this Absolutely. this walk and run and there is a history to this this walk uh, run but not with the Red Cross per se mm -hmm. tell us a little bit more about what's going to be happening on Saturday well the uh, um, it's the, the, uh, the it's called we call it the run for the red uh, the same community that's put this on used to put on the United Way 510k mm -hmm. and um, uh, there were some changes there in that in that setup, and so we decided um, in the last race there was a, a corollary uh, run that was in Baghdad, and so we thought, well, let's build off of that. Let's see what we can do for our veterans. Okay. Um, talked about it a little further and decided, well, what can we do for not just veterans uh, that are put their lives on the line for us, but also our first care responders that do that every day here at home. Okay, and now how can people become a part of this on on uh, Saturday? Uh, well, there's, a, there's a, either a 5K walk run or a, or a 10K walk run, and, um, and basically you, know, you can sign up through our registration site, and uh, it takes place at Indiana Veterans Home. It's on May 30th, this Saturday, okay. and uh, we hope to have as many people come out as possible. Uh, it's, it builds awareness. We'll have some stack displays, and um, it'll be you know, a fun thing for the entire family. All right, and again, that 7 o'clock registration, the opening ceremony is at 815. The awards are at 9. 45 and it is this Saturday. Uh, really quickly, do you guys have a goal that you're hoping to raise this year? Is there a goal or is just as much as you can? Just as much as we can. <laughs> All right, that's a good goal. Okay, thank you both, Andrew and Absolutely. Liz. Thanks, guys, thank for coming you. in. Well, just ahead,